Okay, so um, we're going to make some sushi roll. Okay, we're going to make a smoked salmon uh, sushi roll. And for that, obviously, we want some smoked salmon. Now, ideally, this wants to be fresh salmon, fresh smoked salmon, um, but we can't get hold of that at the moment. So I'm using smoked salmon, you know, strips, if you like, or sheets. What you call them? They call them money slices. That's a better word, isn't it? So I'm going to use some of that. Now we're going to use some pieces of that inside, and we're going to have some outside. Really, the outside bit wants to be thicker bits, all right? But can't be out. You're going to need a sheet of nori. You're going to need some uh, sushi rice. You're going to need some mascarpone. Uh, we want a bit of cling film when we finish off to cut it, and we want an avocado. So I've already got some of the salmon ready, really for going on the inside. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to de-stone, peel, and then thinly slice this into strips, okay? So, I'm gonna get on with that, and then when we're ready to start rolling. Now, with this one, the rice is gonna be on the outside, so either you wanna take your normal bamboo mat and put it in a plastic bag, or get yourself a plastic um, rolling mat. I've not tried this one. We'll probably stick to this as well, but you never know. Shouldn't do, it's plastic. Right, so, like I said, I'm gonna prepare my avocado, and then I'll show you how we assemble. Okay, so got this stuff all ready to go. So there's my plastic rolling mat. I'm gonna lay my sheet of nori on that. Whoops, stuck to my fingers. And then I'm gonna take my sushi rice and I'm gonna cover um, the entire surface with a thin layer of rice. Okay, because like I said, we're gonna be flipping this. Um, so the rice will be on the outside in this case. Okay. So, um, like I say, nice and evenly spread. We don't want any gaps in it, but we don't want it too thick. So it's really just a matter of you sitting there watching me do that, or not. And you'll probably prefer I just skip this bit. Okay, so that's the mat, yeah, mat, the nori, all covered um, in sushi rice. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take that and we're just going to flip it over onto the mat. Okay, I'm just gonna bring that round that way because it's gone to that edge. Got rice all over my finger again, and off. Now, this is now where we're gonna use our mascarpone, okay, and we're gonna put like a strip of the mascarpone, okay, down, across, leaving a slight gap, okay, at the edge nearest me. And mm, getting on for sort of like halfway across the sheet, okay, so we're just gonna Spread that along like that. Like I say, just leave a slight gap at the edge nearest you. This is just as sticky as a rice. A bit more just to... In. Oops, there goes my knife. Just pin in down this edge here. And I think... That will do. Okay, so that's the mascarpone on. Okay, so now we've got that on there, we're going to take some of our avocado and we're just going to lay strips of it on top, like so. Okay. And then we're going to take some of our smoked salmon and we just lay that across the top as well, okay? Like I say, this would normally be thin slices that you've cut off of a fresh bit of smoked salmon. Okay, let me just add a little bit more. Not as we use that little bit up. 
So, that now is all that's going to go into the inside. So now what we're going to do is we're going to roll it. Okay. So, you bring it up and over. Now, this is slightly bigger than we need, so we could at this point just trim it or we can just roll it. But I think because the amount that's there, we're just going to trim that edge off. Okay? And then we're just going to carry on rolling it over, okay, tucking it in, giving it a bit of a squeeze. Okay, let's just roll it a bit more. Okay, tuck it in, get it nicely compressed. So there we have now it's it started to come out. So what we do is we just move our sushi to the end of the, the mat so that we can then just poke the ends back in. I mean we're going to trim it but at least we try and keep the contents in there. Now we're now going to need a little bit more salmon because we're going to lay Sillet. So like I say, normally these would be slightly thicker fillets that we're going to lay across the top. So I just need to get some salmon, cut that into some strips, and then we're just going to use some more mascarpone as a like glue. So we're just going to take a little bit of mascarpone and we're just going to smear it along the top. This is quite thick. Okay, I know we want it to act like a glue, but we don't really want to great big thick layer of it because we've got quite a lot of mascarpone on the inside. Probably saying that wrong. Probably don't know how to say mascarpone. Mascarpone? Mascarpone? I don't know. All right, so the idea is that this will just help. I know the rice is sticky, but this will also just help keep the salmon in place. Okay, just a little bit on that end there, being a bit temperamental. Okay, so like I say, I've cut my salmon into some strips, so I'm just going to lay that across the top. A little bit more there, and just finish off that in there. Right, so. That's our smoked salmon on. Next thing we want to do is we want some corn flour. Okay. Now we just want to lift it off of our mat onto our board. We're going to use our mat in a second. Okay. And we're just going to take a piece of clean film and we're just going to place this over the top and then we just use our mat just to help firm that all down okay and now with With our cling film still in place, we are now going to slice. Let me just have a clear up. What we do now is we just trim our ends. Okay. And remember, dump knife and then in half. Clean film just helps keep it all binded together, while, bound together while we, we cut our sushi. So there we go. There's another one. And 
knife getting a bit blunt. And if you noticed, I've swapped knives from my other videos because that one was getting a bit blunt. I haven't got time to sharpen it at the moment. So, through there. Through that one. And then finally that one. And then we can remove our cling film. And there you have, still got a bit of cling film on that other one, but you can see there, we have our smoked salmon sushi roll. Okay, so that's a series of um, sushi rolls that I've done for today. There will be one more coming later where I'm going to attempt for the first time a bit of sushi art. So watch out for that one.